All right, good morning YouTube. This is Fat Frogs and this is going to be a video about the chytrid fungus. And in my last video I said that I was treating my frogs for chytrid and what I got from the comments is that not a lot of people know what chytrid is or how it affects amphibians. So chytrid is a fungus that's common in African frogs and it does it isn't detrimental to them because of how hot the temperatures are there um, African clawed frogs are what spread them to the rest of the world and it's kind of our fault as hobbyists I suppose who collect frogs from various places in the world that we spread this so I, know, I think it might be or it is our responsibility to try to eradicate it at least in our own captives so chytrid fungus is a fungus, it's found in Africa and it got spread all through the world and killed off a lot of frogs. Because what it does is it harms the amphibians immune systems and the... So they can live with it for a long time but if they get like a cold or something or damaged in some way it's going to kill them. Um, it also affects their skin color because it tightens their skin muscles. So while doing this treatment to get rid of the fungus, I've seen that my frogs have become a lot brighter color just by releasing their skin muscles. So right now I guess I'm going to film how to treat your frogs and using what? And amphibians. Um, it also affects salamanders and newts and things although the treatment for them can be different because a good way to get rid of the fungus is to heat them over 90 degrees for 40 minutes and some salamanders can take can handle that but most frogs can't so right here is most of what i do i have to do this every day for 10 days that's the living period of the chytrid fungus um i have 200 milliliters of water right there and what I do is I take this Lamisil AT continuous spray and you put in one milliliter or 10 squirts into the water. Now the reason for this is Lamisil AT is actually for um, what's that thing called? Uh, athlete's foot which is a type of fungus and it's an antifungal and so one milliliter of it diluted in 200 milliliters really helps your frogs so right now I'm going to be treating my Pac-Man Penelope which is going to be pretty amusing for you guys because she does not like the treatment that much because it involves handling her so let's just get her out um, civilization is a big part of the treatment too if you notice all of my caging and substrate and everything. There's paper towels. Everything is cleaned after and before every... Um, come on. Come on. You know, we've done this for a while. Ah. After and before every um, treatment. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this little thing and make sure I get the... All right, hold on one second. All right, so I got her in, ah, or not. Hold on, come on. Nope, don't jump. Come on, stay. All right, so I got her in, and I'll just stay over here so she feels more safe. Um, and she has to soak for five minutes, so at, at 5.18, I'll take her out and put her into a sterilized bin while I do the other frogs. And I'll take out her tank, completely clean it with a bleach water solution, new paper towels, new everything, uh, put her back in, everything keeps going, next day do the same thing for 10 days. And that should, uh, it's already improved her color a ton. Uh, she used to never be that uh, yellow. And... Um, it'll get rid of the chytrid. Pac-Man frogs are huge carriers of it. They can live a long time before getting sick, so they can keep it in them for a while and infect all your other frogs. So, yeah, that's basically how the chytrid fungus works, and that's what I'm doing to treat mine. So, if you have a frog, I, I think it's a good idea to treat the frog. Oh my god. Alright, I'll deal with this. See you guys.